Today we're going to the races. Um, today is Saturday, July 25th in Vancouver, which is the day of the Dayton Cup, which is the only day pretty much in Vancouver that everyone dresses up like crazy um, because it actually has a formal dress code for ladies. You must wear a hat to go to the Dayton Cup. And so it's quite a thing and people will order their hats way in advance, get them custom made and all of that. But I kept it really simple and I have a little bit of a trick as well that I used to get my hat so I'm going to share that with you when I show you the outfit in a moment but I just wanted to say good morning first and I hope you guys like this vlog because I'm going to vlog the whole day we're going with a huge group of friends and I just think it will be so much fun I've never been to Hastings race course before I've never really been to the races at all um, so dressing for this and just kind of what to expect has all been a little bit of a surprise but now that I'm in my outfit and we are about to catch a cab and pick up our friends and go over there. I'm just thrilled to be sharing it with you. Hey internet, so I thought we would take a quick moment to show you what to wear to the races. Because fashion wise, dressing for the races is a challenge. It's not something that you're going to wear every day and it's a mixture of things because you need to be comfortable. Um, at this event I'm going to be standing for about five hours outside so you need to be prepared for the elements but after all a hat is just that. It's going to protect your face from the sun. So I chose a wide brimmed one because I love how glamorous they are. If you want of course you can go for a fascinator as well. Those can be really cute and girly. Um, I really like more classic hats so anything in a kind of nude white, black colored palette. Those are my favorites because you're gonna also be able to repurpose that hat and wear it for further years or even weddings, especially English weddings. So the hat was purchased at phase eight in England. If you do need a hat for an event and you wanna make sure that no one else has the same one and you live in North America, of course, um, I really recommend ordering one from over there because they have sales constantly at department stores and so it's just really easy to find something that suits you um, and just order it in and no one else will have the same one and you might just nab it on sale like I did. Um, so this one is a really pretty taupe color with cream piping and a little bit of detailing. I like the dramatic swoop um, on it, a little bit of ribbonry as well, which I really like. And English hats tend to be really nicely made as well. So this one has a string on the inside that I can tighten for my head size so that it won't just fly away on me, which is great. Um, so I chose to wear it with my hair down. The dress, when I saw it, I knew I was gonna wear it to this event. It is from opening ceremony at Holt Renfrew. It's really different. It's actually a corduroy type fabric. It's really textured up close. It looks really summery and crisp. It's quite a thick fabric as well, but I love that because it actually really helps the dress to look tailored. So it won't just kind of wilt under the heat. It has really nice shape. My favorite thing about this dress is how modern it looks with the shaped neckline. It looks like a scallop shell almost to me, but very modern, very geometric, which I think is great for the races because if you're not careful, you can end up looking really dated if you were to wear something frilly and white with pearls. I do love my pearls, but it's nice to pair something a little bit mo more modern with them to keep your look really current. Um, with this, I did cho choose a really classic bag because I wanted the statement to be the dress and the hat. Um, so this is just my Chanel wallet on chain in caviar leather um, with gold hardware and believe it or not this actually fits a lot. It has my cell phone, my camera, eye drops, uh, MAC Viva Glam lipstick, credit cards, tissues, and some blotting powder from Chanel as well. For shoes I kept it really simple as well. As I said I will be standing for five hours. If you think you're going to be at a seated event I probably would have worn my Louboutins, but these Via Spiga nude peep toes are so comfortable and broken in for me now that I knew it was a smart choice to make and they match the color of my skin really well. We better call it cab and head off and I will see you guys at the Hastings Race Course. So we're here, we're doing our red carpet lineup. Hi, how are you? Are you? Hats are so difficult. I can't see where I'm going. I'm gonna hit something with How my are you? Hello. How are you? I don't know which song is easier for you to reach. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. Finally. Yeah. So we're currently in the lineup. This is the Vancouver equivalent of a red carpet. Minus the red carpet. There's just a photo taking booth up front and they take your photo there and then you get inside pretty much. I think that's the deal. So what do the instructions 
I feel like they won't look nice with my outfit, but whatever. And we got some free samples of the most randomest thing ever. You want to show them? What is it? Beef jerky. Beef jerky. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with that. That definitely does not go with my outfit. Anyway, it's pretty cool here actually. So let's have a great time. We have drinks tickets, we have food tickets, we have friends. It's going to be really good. Came and gave us beef jerky. Did you I know. know. You didn't get beef? Oh, we're the only ones who got the jerky. Like my main diet. I know, right? <laughs> in my purse. <laughs> is it gonna fit in your purse? Because it's not gonna fit in mine. Oh no, I've got my own in my purse. <laughs> <laughs> I can't seriously? carry more. My hand will be like. Oh, no. like All right, I don't know what to do with. Does it matter? All right, if we get hungry later, I'll get beef jerky. Okay. I got this for you, you guys. So beautiful. Look at this. Like a mini little club going on here. Beautiful view. Looks like this is where it's at. The bartending competition. Kind of amazing. I'm having mint julep right now. And Richard would uh, swoon older, vulnerable, lonely oh. women like Helen into uh, spending their money on club horses. So Helen, unfortunately, got stuck in a spot where she kind of figured out what was going on. Oh, no, you're not going to hide. So Mr. Christopher, we're going to call him. We are 360 degrees. You just made your Instagram debut. How do you feel about that? Hey. You want to say YouTube hi? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, How do you feel, like Richie? This is your big online moment. Do you have any deep thoughts? Hello, 30,000 followers. <laughs> and this is my beautiful friend, Sarah. Followers. We're all enjoying our cocktails. Cheers. So we left our posh enclosure to mingle. And look what I found, horses. I feel like we haven't really seen very many today because we've been too busy drinking cocktails, but this is awesome. I'm really loving this event. <laughs> Better not lose the boyfriend. He's going to get me a lobster roll. Go Dover! What? That's what they said in My Fair Lady, right? It's not as embarrassing when I do it. Look at this, you guys. Lobster roll, hashtag delicious. Okay, you guys, we're in third place. The horse has got scotch. This is our only bet of the day. Let's make this momentous. Everybody. Actually, your view is so, freaking amazing. <laughs> it is amazing, isn't it? I'm, it is. I'm going to show you the view in a second, but um, I was going to end the vlog because yes. the day is over, sadly. Yeah. I know, oh, Ricardo's God. making a sad face. You want to say hi? Hey, guys. Uh, we had a really good dating cup. Um, yeah, it was awesome. It was so, so awesome. Glad you guys followed. Uh, glad you guys got to see this beautiful girl's dress. Aww. And it's amazing. Well, so. I'm glad they got to meet you. There you go. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. I'm just going to show you 360 degrees because our friend Richie has the best view on his patio and we are here to see the fireworks and end the day on high notes. So I will see you next time. Bye.